Hey guys, this is Doc. Now listen, I want to talk to you regarding your vest and your backpack, okay? And your backpack, all right? Now, um, it's it's. I'm talking about speed. You should be walking around with this thing in the house when you got nothing to do, just so your neck muscles and your back muscles get used to carrying the shape of this. And you should always make sure that it's in shape with you. And there should not be, it should not be loose on you. It should be snug. That way, when it's snug, it's part of you. And when it's part of you, then you don't have to worry about it. Okay? But when you put your backpack over top of this, of your vest, see, your vest. When you put the backpack over top of your vest, which is what I have here. All right? When you put your backpack over top of your vest, okay? You've got everything on you when you cannot travel in your vehicle no more. Everything's going to be on your back, in your hands, or on, and, or inside your vest. Now, inside my vest, listen closely. I have 300 rounds of 22 ammunition. Okay, these are my weapons of choice. I have 300 rounds of 22 ammunition. I have 30 rounds in my vest of uh, six inch bolts for my handheld crossbow, which is silent but deadly. I have 50 rounds of 12 gauge slugs in my vest on top of six already in there and five at the waiting. Okay, so that's 35, that's 41 rounds of 12 gauge slugs. Now, if uh, if I can't kill somebody with nearly with 300 rounds of 22 ammo, uh, 41 rounds of 12 gauge slugs, and 30 rounds of bolts for my uh, for my uh, crossbow, I might as well just lay down and give it up. Okay, so this is more than plus I carry my med pack and I carry my my necessary in case I'm away from home base and I can't get back that, that that day for some reason I'm tied down I am able to I've got everything in this vest needed to survive overnight okay where I can survive the night all right because this look at this see this see this this knife okay look at the bottom of it see that thing at the bottom pull it out it's a striker. All right? I can start a fire if I have to. Okay? If I'm too far away from base because I've had to uh, um, sway somebody away from base to keep people safe, you just never know. But this is what I want to get to. Okay? When you, have, when you put your backpack on and you have it on top of your vest. Now, if we can all drive our vehicles around, that's great. But there's no guarantees for that. Okay, so if you got to go on foot, you're going to have a 50 to 70 pound back, back on top of your vest that's already weighted down with lead from your ammo. Okay, whether you use clips or whatever you use, you know, you do the do. But this is what I want to get to. Okay, if you suddenly come upon somebody when you're traveling. All right, you got your rifle on you, you got your pistol on you, you've got everything totally loaded up. That's all you need. In your backpack is your food, your clothes, your camping equipment, your camping gear, yada, yada, yada. Okay, one thing you don't want to do in a possible fight is have to deal with your backpack. All right, that has to be able to snap, snap off within 10, 15 seconds. All right. Now I tell some people 30 to 45, so 30 seconds, so they can give themselves some experience. But actually, 10 to 15 seconds, snap, snap, off. That way, all you have on you is your weapons, and your ammo, and your med kit, and your support, and your communication to do what you got to do. Okay, and that all has to be done within 15 seconds. Now, I have a special little toy, which is a Breakdown 22 AR-7 rifle. Look it up on the internet. 
Now that's broke down into my backpack. Okay, so it's going to take an extra 10 to 15 seconds to put that together. But I can do that on my belly while I'm using my shotgun. You see, once my shotgun's empty, then I can pull out the 22, and I got 300 rounds of 22 ammo to just start picking away. I've got uh, I've got uh, four clips plus extra rounds. Okay, totaling 300 rounds, and surely somewhere in that 300 rounds, and all those rounds of slugs, which would literally blow somebody's head clean off, I would be able to get out of a firefight if I need to. But this is something you need to think about is once you're dressed up, how quick can you dress down in order to engage into a battle if you have to? Okay? Now your backpack should be ne never be more than 70 pounds. All right? That's it. Um, any average man. Like I said, I'm only five foot five. There are people that are six foot five, but they still can only average on average about 70 pounds. For any long distance walking, I can walk 20 miles with 70 pounds on my back. Okay, and I can run a mile in 10 minutes without that on my back. But I want you to get used to this and get the gist of it. Okay, all right. Doc's on your side. God bless.